Welcome to Synagogues of France, Part 8, Paris A. That means this is our look at the first group of Jewish houses of worship in the city of Paris, or as they say in France, Paris. Our first stop is Adas Shalom, located in the building shown here. It's a Masorti or traditional conservative congregation established in 1989, and its rabbi is Rivon Kriger, or possibly Kriger. And supposedly there is a congregation located here called Kilat Yaakov, and this is on Rue or Street de Anale. That's all the info that we have on this particular synagogue. And as one can see, the pattern is that not much is done to the outside to make a casual passerby be aware that there is a Jewish facility. Most of the synagogues that we will highlight in this episode will be of a similar situation. Of course, the moment we say that, we come across two buildings. On one side, there's a Jewish star and it says, Mishkanot Yaakov. And the other side says, Or Chaim, home to a Hasidic house of worship, praising the memory of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and Rabbi Meir Baal Hanes. Both were mystical greats. Mishkanot Yaakov is on Boulevard de Belleville, and it's Rabbi Yishlomo Claude Azulai. It is part of the Consistoire Federation of Orthodox Synagogues and a snapshot look at its interior. In the middle is the Torah reading place, and up at the front is the Aaron Kodesh, or holy ark containing the Torahs. And supposedly inside the building shown here is the congregation of Bet Yosef, which was established in 1987, and it's not far from the suburbs of Neuilly and Boulogne. They established the Talmud Torah in 1998. The show was established by Jacob Coco Levy. A Mr. Samuel Seksek is listed as Rabbi and Minister Community Officiant. Many synagogues are identified by the name of the street that they're located, such as this one. This is the Bouge T. Bouge Street, Shul. More formally, as the sign here indicates, it is officially called the Philat Israel Frankfurter Synagogue. It was started by Jews from Eastern Europe, and the name of the rabbi for many years was Isidore Frankfurter, who was deported by the Nazis during their occupation in World War II. In recent years, the congregation switched to Spartak customs. Here is a peek at its interior. And finally, we can show you a synagogue building that looks like one. This is the Buffon Synagogue. It was established in the late 1800s, and according to the description at that time, it was able to seat 650 worshipers. The Hebrew verse etched in stone in the archway read, Baruch HaTeh Translated to English, this means you shall be blessed in your coming and also in your going. However, one should recognize that this verse precedes a long list of verses in the Torah for those who go astray, which is the Torah's way of saying it's a lot easier to be good than to be bad, with the aftermath being exponential. This congregation offers full services on a daily basis. It also practices the Spartak in the Portuguese tradition. Here are a couple snapshots of its luxurious interior. We conclude our first episode looking at synagogues in Paris. There are a few more, so bye for now and see you real soon.